Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Wake Up Pro Alarm by App in the Box. This application is in the utilities category, is iOS Universal, works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, all for only 99 cents. All right, this alarm clock app is highly customizable, contains beautiful clock faces, and is uniquely designed to jumpstart your brain with the Clever Wake feature. Let's check it out. Here's the opening screen. Currently, I have a wood background with blue digits, as well as day of the week, uh, day of the month, and month identification. Now, you can see the alarm function up there is highlighted as well as the standard sound. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on the bottom right information to access the back end where all of the alarm setting is done. Now, this application, this alarm application is unique in the sense that you can change from alarm type from a standard alarm clock to Wake Up Pro. We can read this little, they give you a little bit of a disclaimer, a little bit of guidance. It says, due to multitasking limitations, Wake Up Pro must run in the foreground for the alarm to operate in full and play music as an alert. Please remember to leave the app open on the clock screen when you go to bed. If you forget, the default alarm will still play even if your phone is locked. So they have a couple of fail safes in there. Very cool. Now that we have it set to Wake Up Pro, there's a question we got to answer. Here's how it works. Wake Up Pro requires you to answer a question to turn the alarm clock off, which is going to make you wake up a little better because it's going to ask you to think when you're waking up. You can either choose an easy question or go to a hard question. Notice the technical sound when you use the little interface change button there. We're going to go for an easy question and we're going to only leave it we're going to leave it for every day. You can also turn it off to not repeat at all. So we'll go ahead and leave it for every day and we're going to tap here for a time, a 719 and then we're done. We simply tap there. You can see that the alarm is set for 719. We've got standard up there in the top right and um it's going to go off in just a few seconds and you'll hear and you'll see what we have to do to turn it off. So I think I know the right answer. It's 12. So you actually have to think and figure that out and apparently that's going to wake you up better than if the alarm just goes off and you tap on snooze and well, head back to sleep. You can't turn the alarm off if you don't answer the question. Now when you choose the hard setting, let me just warn you, the question's really pretty hard. You might need a scribble pad to figure out the answer. Tap on the bottom right again. You can change it to standard, and when you change the alarm to standard, here you can set the snooze to a variety of time, and you can also turn the snooze off. It's going to work just like a standard alarm where you the alarm will go off, and it'll even go off again if you've gotten out of the application. It'll go off in your notifications, and that's what it had done to me. And when you open up the phone, this will pop back up. So let's go over here to alert. And in your alerts, again, you can pick a stock alert under sounds, or you can add music from your iPod. Now, I'm done with that. Let's head back in here. Also, some other areas that are very important, the settings. Here's where you can change the themes and the digital color, as well as the time that you would like to be represented. If you don't want 24-hour time and are more comfortable with the other standard 12-hour time, simply tap it off to off. You have a four different selections, four themes. You can change it to kind of a gray matte or you want to go black. And then you have several different uh, digital colors. And I'm going to go ahead and use, we'll do yellow just to get a little crazy. And then you can write review and uh, check out their other apps by App in the Box and change the dim level there as well. Once you're done with your themes, settings, and so on, tap on done and you're going to see the new interface that you've enabled. Very easy. And let's go back. That one didn't look so good with the camera that I'm having on right now, so let's see if that looks better. A little bit better, it's a little bit, whoop, you know what, I didn't even change it. Let's check it out one more time. Yes, I did. We'll go back to the wood because I think the wood looks the best on a camera. There you have it. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.